nanotechnology. Do you know how to calculate the surface area of that speck of dust that has consistently blurred your vision? If not, let me tell you a fascinating story. A man was working around the clock, and what did he engage in? He made several hundred gold slides and scratched them. This was not just about it. Part of the process involved washing the gold films in the same water endlessly. He then filled the dirty water in various bottles and shined them with a beam of light. It was then that a thought struck him. This cone effect was enkindled by the fluid containing suspended gold particles that were too small to observe with the scientific apparatus of that particular period. Nonetheless, it scattered the light to the side. This engendered the genesis of the Faraday Tyndall effect, and the prodigy we're talking about is none other than Michael Faraday. Therefore, let this motto reverberate through you. Never reckon anything as too Lilliputian, as this might be your golden ticket to live your dream of a nanotechnology scientist. Today at College Suggest, let's grab the details of the study of minuscule objects with mammoth opportunities, nanotechnology. Let's now dive into the central question, what exactly is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is a science of research and innovation with materials and devices on a nanometer scale, which is a unit to measure atoms and molecules. The science of nanotechnology works to enhance energy consumption efficiency, clean the environment and solve health problems. In 2002, the government of Japan allocated 750 million US dollars a year for nano research, which was six times higher than the 1997 figure. The US National Science Foundation predicts that the market for nanotechnology products across the globe may spiral to more than $1 trillion in 15 years. In developing countries such as Brazil, Chile, China, India, the Philippines, South Korea, South Africa, and Thailand, a significant pension for research and innovations in nanotechnology is exhibited by establishing government-funded programs and research institutes. Nanotechnology products will be smaller, affordable, relatively more functional, and consume less energy and raw materials to manufacture. With the optimum cost of production and consumer surplus price, they will be at an all-time demand in the global market. This demand is fetched by nanotechnology being the third highest booming field in India, following IT and the internet. Hence, the choice of nanotechnology can furnish you with a resilient future. The FDA's approval of the first RNAi-based drug bore testament to these nanoparticles not merely as tools employed in the lab to manipulate genes, but as proof that they can be translated into approved medicines. Let's now see what the primary responsibilities of a nanotechnologist are. Part of the work involves research. They look for ways to improve existing materials. They may be involved in electronic engineering and responsible for creating tiny electrical materials used in different types of products. As engineers, they will work on design plans, develop prototypes, and test their work to determine if it performs as expected. They will continue to review the materials they produce and revise their designs until they operate effectively. Nanomaterials have several properties like slow release action, target action at active sites, and high surface area. Due to this, nanotechnology can be applied in various fields, including agriculture, the food and processing industry, and precision farming. With these vast and innovative avenues, nanotechnologists can easily find greater career opportunities in the following fields. Agriculture, environment industry, medicine, food and beverage, teaching, genetics, biotechnology, space research, and forensic science. Indian industries have focused on nanomaterials and many scientific institutions have started research and development activities in this field. The CSIR, or Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, has set up 38 laboratories across the country to carry out research and development work in this field. Those with PhDs in nanotechnology will have vibrant opportunities in the research and development sectors. Nanotechnologists work with minute objects at relatively massive places like CSIR, DRDO, BARC, Applied Materials, GE Engineering, Dr. Reddy's Lab, and IISE. A COVID-19 vaccine, or two, are just around the corner, bringing with them the possibility of a return to normalcy for many people. These medical interventions use nanotechnology to mimic nature's slipping method past the immune system to deliver treatment to target cells. 
While the world went into lockdown, researchers worldwide were in labs drafting nanotechnology into the COVID-19 battle. Drawing inspiration from a remarkable 2018 drug, they strived to deliver safer, more easily administered vaccines and medical technology not just to fight COVID-19, but also any future potential pandemics. This crisis has further augmented the need for nanotechnology experts, a magnification witnessed day by day. This demand results in nanotechnology professionals receiving a lucrative pay scale. Applications Engineer 5.44 lakh Director of Product Marketing 11.08 lakh Manufacturing Engineer 4.1 lakh Director of Research 20.25 lakh Optical Engineer 5.08 lakh Product Marketing Engineer 3.3 lakh Technical Program Manager 21.81 lakh Research Scientist 7.01 lakh Research and Development Engineer 5.45 lakh Android Software Developer 3.72 lakh Assistant Sales Manager 4.95 lakh Data Analyst 4.29 lakh Mechanical Engineer 3.49 lakh Principal Product Manager 31 lakh Operations Analyst 3.88 lakh Research Associate Biotechnology 3.33 lakh Senior Research Associate 6.66 lakh R&D Executive 11.68 lakh Design Engineer 3 lakh Project Lead 12.45 lakh Operations Manager 7.66 lakh Possibilities to earn more are very near and for that you require a robust skill set. At a recent event organized by the European Alliance for Access to Safe Medicines, or EAASM, EU lawmakers and stakeholders focused on nanomedicines, which are emerging as an innovative technology in the scientific field as they address unmet medical needs and offer alternatives for many therapeutic areas. Nanomedicine uses state-of-the-art nanotechnology like nanoparticles, nanorobots, or nanoelectronic biosensors to diagnose or treat cancer, cardiovascular, and neurogenerative diseases. Therefore, nanotechnologists work with extremely tiny objects and hence arduous skills in the field are inevitable. Some of the skills to succeed in this field are as follows. Nanotechnology engineers must have strong analytical skills to review data related to their research and the effectiveness of the products they create. They also need problem-solving skills to develop strategies to alter designs to improve the performance of their products. Communication skills are essential because nanotechnology engineers will need to share their research and the results of their tests with others in the field. Attention to detail is crucial because they work with very tiny objects. They also need to be able to scrutinize design plans to identify the source of specific issues. Developing these difficult skills are possible if you can get a sound support system at your institution. The International Institute for Nanotechnology, or IIN, at Northwestern University has announced a new fellowship to support young scientists who demonstrate outstanding talent and promise in the field of nanotechnology. The Weinberg Family Postdoctoral Fellowship, made possible through a gift from the family of Judd A. Weinberg, will be awarded annually and includes a $65,000 stipend to support research and travel to scholarly meetings. Therefore, the study of nanotechnology needs strong and well-equipped laboratories with amenities to research the smallest objects. Some of the premier institutes that teach this subject are Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai, Velour Institute of Technology, Velour, Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, National Institute of Technology, Calicut, Jamia Millia University, New Delhi, Indian Institute of Technology, Gawahati, Amity Institute of Nanotechnology, Noida, PSG College of Technology, Coimbatore, Coimbatore Institute of Technology, Coimbatore, Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology, Bhopal, the fee structure varies in these top colleges. The average course fee charged in India ranges between 1.2 to 2.5 lakhs per annum, and the average salary of a fresher is 4.75 lakhs per annum, which means you can earn back your fee amount in less than two years. Since nanotechnology requires profound research and arduous learning, it is offered at various undergraduate, postgraduate, and doctorate levels in India. 
Also, candidates holding a BTEC degree in material science, mechanical, biomedical, chemical, biotechnology, electronics, and computer science or BSc in physics, chemistry, mathematics, and life sciences can apply for postgraduate courses in nanotechnology. We are using nanotechnology products in our everyday lives. Nanotechnology is used in the manufacturing of a myriad of products that we use in our everyday. An ocean of career opportunities is available for nanotechnology professionals with a more significant demand present than ever before. As we know, nanotechnology is used everywhere, so the need for a nanotechnologist is increasing and requires innovations at every step. Owing to continuous progression in the agricultural sector, career opportunities are also evolving. Nanotechnology-based agriculture products would pave the way for innovations in the future. However, making these kinds of innovative and agricultural products and machines requires in-depth research and development with the participation of young minds. Nanotechnology, the manipulation of matter on a nanoscale, has many exciting applications, and R&D continues to produce more practical applications. In 2017, nanotechnology had a market value amounting to nearly 49 billion US dollars worldwide and was projected to increase to an estimated 76 billion US dollars by 2020. Therefore, aspirants can create a future proof career in this lucrative field. What is the course that you want to pursue next? Tell us and we will provide all the information you need to make the right decision. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.